There's no easy way for outsiders to see the obliterated landscape of eastern Ukraine. The airport in Donetsk, the largest city in the separatist-held area, was destroyed and never rebuilt. Six years of war has left this place ruined. Our CBC crew that made it in heard a resounding desperation for a deal to bring peace to what many here feel is a forgotten conflict. We met a group of older women living a miserable existence underground in a former Soviet-era bunker near Donetsk. Their lives are as emotionally shattered as the countryside above. There's no heat, but at least there's running water and electricity, and they're safe from the shelling and the snipers. Everyone down here is united in survival, but they're divided on the future of this territory. All are aware that Ukraine suddenly became big news in the United States because of the U.S. impeachment saga, but it's not changed any of the misery in their lives. <laughs> Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky has vowed to get this area back under Ukrainian control. He's helped orchestrate a modest pullback of troops, but the fighting hasn't entirely stopped. In the village of Zaitsova, Masha and her grandmother Svetlana told our crew that barely a night goes by where they don't hear shooting. They say they've even found mines that were fired by artillery that landed in their garden. На огород мы тоже через раз выходим, потому что мы не можем, ну, предсказать, когда когда будет обстрел, а когда нет. И у нас он все позади она этим самым. Svetlana told us she feels her home is a disposable pawn in a bigger fight between Russia and the West. Мы не нужны ни в Украине, ни в России, потому что Донбасс разбит. Украине такой ярмо не надо, и России тоже такой ярмо не надо. Masha let our crew come with her to school, which has been hit by shells twice and rebuilt. These 10 and 11-year-olds have lived with war for as long as they can remember. Eastern Ukraine is more than the front line of a civil war. It's at the epicenter of a battle for global influence between the West and Russia, with exhausted, desperate innocents feeling that both sides have abandoned them. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.